I know uh, you've you've totally changed careers and actually have uh, like a whole new job now and, and do something uh, do something completely different. What what do you do now? Because I don't think you professionally still review video games for millions of dollars. No, that that the income stopped after the show was canceled, and um, you know I had to sell off my helicopter and uh, my island. Um, did you did you keep the Porsche? No, I had to sell the Porsche because we because you had the game room. Um, I, I know we had that silk screen on the side and on the side, and then you actually stuck diamonds to it. No, I sold that on I sold that on eBay. So I, I was I was a broken man. I was a broken man for a long time. I couldn't review any video games. I couldn't touch video games. I couldn't even look in an Atari, a nice wood furnished Atari. Couldn't do it. No matter how much end dust you put on it, I just couldn't look at it. So I had to take a break. I came back to New Jersey. I put all my ducks in a row. I got my life straightened out. Things are much better for me now. So then I, can't, I turned back to video games. And that's when my life has been complete. That's super. <laughs> yes, it is quite super. Why, thank you very much. That's amazing. Uh, a couple people asked the question... And actually, one one I'm kind of curious of myself because you know we haven't talked about uh, our favorite episode. What was what was your favorite episode that we did back in the day? Oh man, that's a tough one. Uh, there's a you know I, I got to go with the one that probably was the least embarrassing to go back and watch eight years later. Which um, I'm gonna have to go with the uh, Empire Strikes Back. That one, that one to me, that was that was a lot of fun to shoot, and it, you know, and it's also a lot of fun for me to watch. Like I can't really go back and say I enjoy to watch. I enjoy watching myself, like you know, re- regarding anything, a home video, whether it's game room or anything. So that one is actually for me. I can actually go back and watch that one and be someone entertained. Um, so I have to go with that one as being my favorite episode. I think that one was uh, that one was classic. Dave, you want to explain why we're stuck here? Well. Uh... As, you know, as people have seen, they were sending off the transports, you know, since the early morning. And uh, basically, we were sitting around playing video games with our tickets. And, you know, we just forgot. Just forgot. And we weren't paying attention. So you know, first transport the is away. The first transport is away. Everyone's yeah, like, yeah. Every, everybody was like, woo. We were just we're like, like yeah, it. okay, I'm still playing a game. And then apparently the last transport left and here we are still and like you know we're sitting there waiting on hoth for like our mom to pick us up in the station wagon or something like that well the beers were kept cold because we were on the ice planet yeah we were on hoth so the beers were cold but you know that's the that's the good thing about the ice planet hoth they never tell you in the in empire strikes back no and you know what the entire bar you could have an entire bar just kept you know perfectly cold they never even touched on that no the, the ion cannon could definitely could definitely double as an ice bar Untapped genius, I'm telling you. This planet sucks. What are some of the uh, What are some of the, your other fond, fond, uh, fond memories of the game room episodes? Which other ones do you like? Oh man, um, I think Sega GT. Yeah, that one was definitely one of my favorites. I had so much fun actually shooting that episode. That was a fun one to make. Yeah, that just was... stringing up all the uh, you know the Hot Wheels or whatever we had with string and just. Pulling it along one day, and you know, we shot that whole thing like a half hour in one afternoon. Oh, it wasn't. It took longer than a half hour. We had the uh, we had duct tape underneath the the cars, and then we were using sewing string to pull them along. I was trying to brag a little bit. I was trying to make us look smarter than we actually were. But um, <laughs> yeah, think, okay, whatever. Just blow it. That's not possible, Dave. I think we've <laughs> we I think we've ruined ourselves forever on these game rooms. It's the, the cat is out of the bag that we're idiots. Yeah, I can't really remember how long it took us to shoot that, but I know it took a significant amount of time. But it was it was a lot of fun shooting that one. We sort of got out of the room, we got out of the office, and uh, we were outside, like you know, just trying to be creative, just trying to shoot things that were funny, and um, you know, like the people hunt episode with Joe. That was a great. That was a that, great one. You know, I gotta say those ones are definitely my favorite ones because those are, uh, you know, we actually got outside of the room and you know got to uh, get a little bit more creative. You know. Well, I agree with you. In fact, uh, I, uh, I, yeah, you know, I've been watching these a lot, and I put the DVD together and had to watch watch all of them for that, and uh, did a lot of tweaking on. Keyword them. had to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there was, uh, yeah, there were a lot. Of t- I mean, we we actually recorded them fairly well back in the day. 
uh, surprisingly, given the time and budgets that we had, which were about... And our experience. I mean, we, we were pretty, like, you know, we weren't super experienced at this sort of thing. So the fact that some of these things actually hold up is, uh, you know, it's a, it's a good sign. Well, we were smart enough to at least record the audio well. Right. Uh, you know, because you know in your filmmaking, and I've done my filmmaking, that if your audio sucks, the whole thing is ruined. Yep. Irregardless of what it looks like. Absolutely. So at least, at least we had uh, the right audio equipment. One, two, three... One, two, three. I mean, I, I agree with you. It's actually hard to, to to look at them and think that that was me eight years ago because I don't really like watching myself on screen either. But it's almost like they're different. We were different people. So we're, I'm watching the game rooms. To me, it's like we're looking at characters that don't really exist anymore. <laughs> um, but I, I have to agree, and I, I've seen this on a lot of the responses on YouTube as well, is I do think that the chemistry between the two of us regarding just bouncing off the jokes, the jokes in the movie and the game references was uh, was, was pretty good, actually. That's a, that's a hard thing to actually plan to do well. Yeah, we didn't plan any of it. Yeah. <laughs> that's the we didn't plan sort of it. like, you know, maybe part of the problem, but it was also part of the, you know, the, I think the... Uh, you know, I guess the best part about the show was that you know we just we had this sort of this chemistry and this banter. We could go back and forth. We didn't necessarily actually maybe do a technical review of uh, the game that we were you know quote unquote reviewing. Oh, that's but, bull. Um, we you know, did it we at least made good. it entertaining. I hope we did a perfectly good technical <laughs> review of Frogger. Frogger! 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 Frogger!